Good morning, Dave here. It is the 4th of July in North Carolina, and I am going to do a garden tour, give you a little view of my garden in July. We just got some much needed rain yesterday, and um, I added some tom tomatoes that I bought some plants at the store up at the top end of my garden. And I planted some buckwheat with the tomatoes because that's supposed to really help them grow. And these plants are looking nice. Even though the hose got pulled over these plants, two of these yesterday, they're going to pop back and be fine. I don't think I've ever showed these, but these are some blueberry plants that... Our dog has been eating. Right, Blaze? Yeah. Uh, but they actually produced a good bit of blueberries. Here is some Hugo culture beds that I put in. Just two little tiny, I guess I'd call them mini Hugo culture beds. It actually has my best squash plants. I have a problem with my squash, which I will show you. It's called vine borers. And those little worms really do damage to my zucchini. As you can see, there's a little zucchini there. But I can't imagine why these vines are looking so good when their main stems are pretty much decimated. There's a third one there. So it looks like I may get a zucchini off of this one. If that one has a couple more days of growth. I actually tore those vines apart and pulled the worms out. My other Hugo culture bed. I've got all kinds of stuff planted. That looks like watermelon. Watermelon. Got buckwheat in here. And this is pumpkins. And all this stuff I really planted too late in the season. But we'll see what it does. Let's see. There's probably cucumber or maybe squash vine that I cut the vine borers out of that in various places. And said I'm surprised that the vine is still alive at all. And there's some new, I think, cucumbers that I planted. It might be zucchini. Uh, here's my comfrey, which is doing great. There's my sugar peas or snow peas that I left and we'll have some seed start in there. My blackberries did not do well. They just sort of dried up on the stalk. Seems like they do that every year. I don't know if it's because we have a drought conditions right when they're ready to start producing every year or what. I need to put some compost in my raised bed here and get some things started. This is seeds that would be um, Swiss chard seeds in the end here. So when those drop, they're going to have a lot of Swiss chard coming up. And it looks like my Swiss chard plant is actually starting to produce some leaves again at the bottom. Here's lettuce that's gone to seed. This is my granddaughter's flower garden at the edge here. Some zinnias. Some marigolds. Sunflowers. 
and these sunflowers are actually tall and they don't have their blooms open yet this is the Malabar spinach on July 4th I have two plants here you can see they're starting to put some flower buds out supposedly they make a lot of seeds this is the first time I've grown Malabar spinach which is a tropical plant and it loves the heat which is great for here and as you can see it's gone way up so it's over six feet tall now and my trellis is probably only about seven feet so if I want to see how tall it'll get I guess I need to put some more trellis on or I would just cut off the top and let it bush out on the bottom here's a little row of popcorn I put in my raspberries did not do well either and I'm thinking it's because I threw some wood ashes in here but I tried to transplant some and of course we had our drought conditions here this spring and they did not transplant well so I have to maybe transplant some of these sprouts in the fall so they'll get moving some more comfrey there's my asparagus which is going to seed oh you know what I think I do have a asparagus over here that is uh, ready to pick too oh yeah look at that one it's Coming out, it's still sprouting. See that one there? Okay, here's some pepper plants. They don't have any peppers on them yet. And my tomato plants, which are starting to grow. I think they were stunted too with the lack of water. Oh, there's some pepper on that one. There's a little pepper there. Here's some basil. I believe that's cinnamon basil, which I've just tried for the first time this year, and I don't think I really like it, as well as the normal basil. Not sure what that is. Probably a zucchini or yellow squash. There's my Jerusalem artichokes. You can see some of them are really tall already. They'll probably start blooming here soon. This is parsley, which is going to seed. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of parsley seed out of that. Some more Swiss chard, some old kale plants. Still don't know what this herb is. If anyone wants to let me know what you think it is, I'd appreciate it. Here's some clumping onions which even have seeds on the top too there's my worm bin with some peaches and oh, watermelon for the worms to eat they love that this is horseradish it's not looking too good it's got those nasty beetles on it Let's see. I've got a rabbit running around in my garden and it's eaten all my green beans that I had planted. Nasty rabbit. There's some onions that I pulled out of the ground. They're like small onions. 
Um, just letting them dry. Then I'll take them in the house. My Egyptian spinach was also decimated by that rabbit. I had a huge amount of Egyptian spinach growing and now the rabbit effectively thinned it out for me. So I guess I can be thankful for the rabbit for thinning it out. Okay, here are some more pepper plants. They're just starting to get a lot of buds on them. And here's one that has a pepper on it, which I'll probably eat that pepper soon. Okay, here's some other tomatoes that I planted earlier. There's some red cherries. Everything should be jumping with that rain we had. Okay, here are some more. Probably zucchini. And as you can see, the vine borers got to this one too. Even though I had it hidden in this peppermint tea, the vine borers have gotten to it. Really need to figure out what I'm going to do about these vine borers. Let's see over here. We've got some okra. I just planted a couple of plants because we don't really eat a whole lot of it. There's one over there too. Strawberry patch. There's a popcorn that has some tassels on it. And it looks like it has some corn starting to grow. I have some potatoes thrown in here. They're not doing real great either. And my snow peas are done here. So I'm going to have to collect the seeds out of there. But I also planted some pole beans that are starting to take off here. So I should have some green beans before too long. And here are some cucumbers that are doing well. Going up a little fence that I have here for them. There's a cucumber on the vine. Let's see what else we got here. Here's my biggest diacon radish. It's got about six inches out of the ground, and I have no idea how deep it is. It would be fun to dig that one up and see how, how deep it is, or how long it is. Here is a Mexican sunflower plant. Actually, there's three Mexican sunflower plants here. That's supposed to put out blooms for a long time. Got everything sort of thrown in here. Some kale that's getting eaten by the bugs. I planted some cilantro down here that's not coming up yet. And of course there's my green beans on the other side of the trellis. And there's a little bit of catnip. Guess that's about it. Well, since I'm here, I guess I could show you my pears. 
This pear tree has quite a bit of pears on it. It's not that old a tree. So this is the first year that it's really produced very many pears. <clears throat> and then here's my peach tree. This is my youngest peach tree, which does have some peaches on. But it seems like they just sort of shrivel up and dry up and, and die. Or they get a lot of bugs in them. Yeah, here's what they do. They sort of turn into a brown, ugly mess and drop off the tree. Seems like that's what most of them do for me. But we do get some bites of peaches. This is my field of buckwheat. I planted that not that long ago to help support that cherry tree that we just planted also. And uh, the bees are supposed to really like this. That was a wasp and there's other bees flying around here too. But I also planted some squash inside of here to see if that will help keep the vine borers away and it's supposed to be uh, a good crop that'll that will uh, do well as a companion crop with squash got some others other squash around here somewhere but I'm not seeing it right now and I put some zinnias in there too but that buckwheat is really taking off all right so that is the end all right so that's my July 4th garden tour and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see if I can put some fireworks at the end of this video too okay, blessings to each of you and I'll see you next time